is here first. Uh, we, uh, I represent these, uh, these two companies that, that uh, who actually merged uh, a few months ago. Uh, it's a French one and an Italian one. Uh, I'm a French guy with an Italian name, and I'm, I'm quite, I would say, struck by the fact that uh, many Italian people are working on that uh, on that matter, and uh, we are over-indexing. Uh, I don't know why, but I think it, it deserves to be uh, to be uh, to be studied uh, as a, as a whole uh, subject. So we merge with Italian guys, and many uh, many Italian people. <coughs> I, I know it by heart, but it's better with the pictures. Issues, but uh, then uh, because of PowerPoint. So uh, this is uh, who I am, and, and uh, uh, Colin uh, is uh, right there. He's our CTO, so he he has the brains. Um, I'm the country manager for France for, of the of the merge the, of the merge structure and VP of product. And so the data as a whole is not exactly um, uh, in the center of current preoccupations. But definitely, it's a 2017 uh, main uh, challenge that we have to face uh, very shortly, uh, so that uh, you know who am I? Who I am? Sorry, uh, I'm abbreviated uh, ESCP Europe. Then I work in uh, in uh, the, the the retail industry for 20th Century Fox, so selling DVDs. So it's, it sounds like cinema, but it's closer to yogurts. Um, because it's DVDs in, in, in hypermarkets at the end of the day. Then uh, a bit more than three years uh, at uh, Amazon, so not for Amazon Mechanical Turk, even though uh, I spent some time looking at, uh, at uh, how uh, this uh, monster worked. And then uh, founded Localize in, uh, in 2013, which merged again a few months ago. Colin graduated from Les Mines de Paris, so we have uh, an engineer, uh, which I'm very uh, Proud about, uh, proud of, um, as a city. So, uh, given the nature of the audience, I think that uh, it's important <laughs> to start with that. It's not about uh, science, what I'm presenting at least. It's about experience. Um, we try to put science in there, but we are still a startup, so we are already um, running uh, other courses, I would say. Basically, what we do is, is pretty simple. We have a mobile app, uh, actually several mobile apps, uh, depending on the, on the platform. Um, and we task people uh, to go in stores mostly, but not only stores, to go in uh, uh, given locations uh, and uh, take pictures and answer to questions. So we are focused, I'm speaking for, for Lucas and Mimaya, on factual data rather than insights. I'm not saying that we don't do it because we also have data about who are our uh, users, but it's not our uh, main focus. Our main focus is really about uh, getting factual data, notably for uh, brands and retailers, and I will try to give you uh, some examples of what we do. The main advantages, and I think that they were properly spotted in, in the presentation just before, the main advantages that we can offer to our clients is that with a crowd of 60,000 people in France and, and, and 30,000 people in Europe, um, we allow them to uh, get field data everywhere. So uh, think about, uh, I don't know, a brand like Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. Of course, you think about hypermarkets and supermarkets and convenience stores and stuff like that. But you can think about the also uh, uh, bakeries, tobacconists, vending machines. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you see Coca-Cola, which is more or less everywhere, we can send uh, uh, someone to check how these products are displayed, what are their price, how it feels uh, to uh, order them, if they are on the first recommendation uh, from the, the, the seller in the store and stuff like that. So we go everywhere, which is definitely, uh, I would say, the, the, the most disruptive stuff that we bring in that uh, factual data collection for our clients. 
The second is uh, uh, indeed speed. We go very, very fast. So we have uh, 60,000 people active in France. Um, to give you an example, and I will share these figures, we are able to visit uh, 4,000 stores, 4,000 locations a day. So it doesn't happen every day, uh, sadly, for now. Um, but uh, we could do it, and uh, we try to manage the size of the crowd uh, uh, in relation with, uh, with, uh, what we, with our business, basically, uh, for now, which is one of the challenges I will develop a bit more. Affordable, definitely. Uh, notably compared to professionals, I would say. So we're not, we're not handling a professional crowd, even though we tend to professionalize them. Um, we are handling a crowd of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Doe, and uh, they're cheaper, they're cheaper notably compared, compared to, the, to the professional workers, I would say, which basically are the sales rep of the brand. They're cheaper just because they are already there. Uh, it's, uh, it's the main uh, uh, discrepancy that we can observe. Of course, there are other explanations to, uh, to the fact that we are cheaper, and I will go into details a bit later. And the last point is about reliability. Again, we are working and focusing on factual data based on which our clients will make actionable decisions. The most obvious one is that we go on the store uh, checking for compliance of uh, whatever marketing plan you may have in mind. And uh, we discover that uh, compliance is not good, then we will send an alert to the sales rep uh, uh, responsible for that store, and he will go there. So reliability is key because if our data is wrong or partial or uh, uh, misunderstood, our clients will start spending more money uh, in a useless way, and, and that's not, uh, of course, uh, sustainable for us. So those are the main advantages, that I, would, I would say, conceptually speaking, about what we do. And I will try to, to enter into, into more detail. Uh, easy, uh, easiness, I would say, is, the, is, the, is how we are perceived if I should, um, if I should uh, uh, resume, so summarize sorry, what, uh, how we are perceived by our clients. Basically, it, work, it works exactly like that. So you have that magic, which is we receive a brief. Basically, we translate it somehow so that I would say clients' issues become uh, understandable by, uh, by anyone on the field. Then we press the button and we start receiving reports from all over Europe, which uh, uh, keeps on fascinating me even, uh, even after uh, three years. Um, it happened through a mobile app, as I said. We focused our efforts on the mobile app on, on uh, two stuff. The first one is uh, uh, reliability and I would say tracking. So knowing where people are, when they are, uh, in the store, how long did it take? Um, uh, uh, allowing them to take pictures of all kinds uh, with a lot of instructions uh, uh, in order to get proper answers to a client need, which may uh, sometimes be quite uh, quite tricky. And the other step that we are trying to do is um, building a learning curve for our, uh, our we call them the eyes, uh, uh, for our eyes, so that they become. Uh, uh, able to do more and more things for our clients. There are two, uh, two reasons for that. First, it's uh, about productivity, uh, everyone's productivity, I would say, their productivity, uh, as well as ours. And the second one, uh, the second reason why, I would say, is that uh, uh, we've observed, as it was mentioned, that it's a very concentrated business. Uh, we have 60,000 active eyes, but uh, on average, we have between 2,000 and 3,000 uh, people working uh, on, on two consecutive uh, weeks. So it gives you the level of, uh, of, uh, of uh, concentration out of 200,000 downloads that you have uh, the, 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 the whole fund. So we thought initially that it would be a business for anyone who is basically shopping in a store and, who, and, and who and we get a discount somehow on the bill just uh, answering some question. It's not. It's digital labor, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. So we don't, we, we, we don't uh, present it too much uh, this way for obvious, uh, I would say, legal reasons. Uh, notably because we are in a gray zone in France. Italy is a bit more structured than France uh, on, on, on that side. Um, but uh, in France, we are in the gray zone. So. Uh, and until someone uh, explains to us that it's work, we're not speaking about work. But in fact, the way we are perceived, or the way the eyes 
uh, feel uh, and the way they behave uh, is, is definitely more related to work than, uh, than uh, again, a discount on their, uh, on their shopping uh, uh, ticket. <coughs> We display, uh, we display our results in real time, which is a uh, part of the, of the magic and notably the picture. So you can imagine that you are Coca-Cola again, uh, you ask a question, you press the button, uh, and, and a few minutes uh, after that, you start receiving pictures uh, that are time-stamped and, uh, uh, and uh, GPS uh, coordinate stamped uh, um, directly on your computer. So basically, we allow somehow ubiquity in stores uh, which, uh, which is again a, a client relative. We operate in, a, in, a, in, a, in six countries, so to give you some, some figures about that, um, that crowd has been able to take 5 million pictures uh, in, uh, in, 20, uh, in 2016, so it's, uh, it's one of the, the key metrics of our business, because again, factual data has a charm is that it can be proved. So it, uh, it's a pain for us to, uh, to check that uh, what has been declared by the eyes is the actual truth and verify it based on pictures. Uh, but the model is, uh, is, uh, is much, uh, is much uh, stronger than that. Those are the figures for uh, uh, France. So the, the below one is about the, the, the people who uh, who, who uh, perform at least one mission in, in, in the last, uh, in the last uh, six months in France. So this is how we would de define them. Uh, uh, the peak is uh, 4,000 a day. Uh, the, the level of redemption is basically if you send us a list of locations to visit whatever it is in France, uh, on average we will manage to visit 90% uh, of them within 10 days. So of course it's an average, so if the list is about two stores in work like that and uh, the, the, all your intuitions are, are, uh, are right which is the first 70% are extremely easy the next 20% are a bit painful and the last 10% are more painful than the, the first 90 uh, it works like, like, like the rest and we visited just to, to give you a sense of coverage uh, which is one of the, the, the main pain we have to, uh, to, to kill uh, we visited already 96.4% uh, of modern trade, so hypermarkets, supermarkets, and, and, uh, and convenience stores at this point. Quality process, because then we are uh, uh, in the, uh, uh, on, on the core of the relation between the business side and the data management side, and, and so uh, act of face uh, for starters, we are nowhere in terms of, uh, of uh, data science. Uh, except that we are collecting data for now. Uh, and so we are uh, accruing a lot of data points that hopefully will help us build uh, some automation at least uh, in, the, in the next few months. Uh, so you have the funnel of quality. So basically, I will summarize it, just explaining to you how it works. Uh, basically, people go on the field, they send us answers and pictures, so they describe what happens in stores and send us the pictures to prove them. We receive the reports. The first question that we, that we ask ourselves is, does, uh, are these pictures um, uh, answering the client's questions? Mm. If yes, uh, then the next question is about is what the eye uh, declared the truth? Mm. If so, uh, we are all happy. If not, we will um, uh, correct it so that the client uh, has uh, the, 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 the right answer in the end. But we will also keep track of the fact that the eye was wrong so that we can score them uh, um, uh, over time. Of course, if we don't have the right pictures, we either resend the very same eye, or when we, we, we realize that uh, he was uh, trying to fool us, uh, we ban him somehow and uh, send another one uh, on the field. It goes into all these steps, so we have many people looking at pictures in the office, uh, just checking that uh, the data is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is the same as what we see on the picture. So the people at office rank the value of the eyes, the quality. They the uh, not exactly like that. They correct. They amend the reports, yeah. stating and the truth, and then by uh, discrepancy, okay. we don't do. We don't use it right now. But this is how, we, how it, uh, it was thought from the beginning. We, we will be able to to rank them. Um, so this one is to say that we are very happy, but it's also to say. Uh, uh, 
that we work, uh, I would say, uh, regardless of the kind of industry, regardless of the kind of stores, basically, retail in, the, the retail as a, as a whole is our main uh, uh, domain of expertise right now, but uh, you, you could think about using us, and every time you would need information that only a human being can take, and, 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 and it's not you, obviously. So uh, we worked uh, also for, uh, for some cities uh, about uh, taking in picture, uh, I don't know, uh, roads uh, uh, or broken stuff. Um, uh, the, the, the capacities are almost endless. We need an X and a Y, and that's pretty much it. Roads like uh, need pool, uh, stuff like this, like? Uh, so exactly, <laughs> yeah. So that, that could happen, that happened actually, or uh, I don't know, uh, so we are used. We work for Pajun, uh, and we are just taking in pictures the front doors of uh, of the shops and collecting opening hours. I mean, we work on retail because the recurring business is obvious, but it can be on infrastructure, everything. Okay. Give me an X and a Y again. Give me questions, and I can send people for um, this is how we are perceived again by, uh, by our uh, customers, we, uh, and it relates to uh, coverage, speed, and, uh, and productivity. Co blind spots are basically the, the, um, the stores that our uh, customers don't visit already. So they have to make choices, they don't visit all stores in the world. So the one that they don't visit, we are very relevant uh, uh, for them. The second, uh, the second way we are, we are very commonly used is speed. So imagine that again, uh, Coca-Cola or Microsoft or whoever, you run a promotion, it lasts uh, 10 days, you cannot um, secure that your field force will visit all the required stores within these 10 days. We can do it with the existence of people uh, on the field. Uh, and the last one is productivity, which is of course my, my favorite one. Uh, sending an employee just for checking data or checking data yeah. and other stuff, we evaluate that it costs between 80 and 120 euros, just the fact that you push the door. Uh, so you send the guy uh, right there, you pay his uh, salary, you pay the transport, you pay maybe uh, a night in the hotel and so on. With us, uh, we will uh, divide that cost by eight to 12, depending on what you, you want to do. Of course, we, we don't do at all, all the work of a sales rep, uh, but at least on the data collection side, we bring a lot of productivity. We are also working right now with, uh, with the big companies such as uh, Unilever on uh, uh, visiting stores ahead of the visit of the sales rep so that we give them insights about uh, does it make sense to go there right now, is there any emergency mm -hmm. or should I uh, uh, better allocate my time going elsewhere because I already have a score uh, mm -hmm. from the visit uh, we perform. And the idea of clients there? No, uh, so we do some uh, clear client mystery, uh, mystery shopping because we are um, asked to, but our, uh, I would say that the experience that we have is much more on factual data. Okay. So providing KPIs that are not subject to interpretation. Current challenges in terms of, of, of data management. So the first one is about prediction. So currently, we are uh, always a bit shaky when we send a report just to, uh, to make sure that we will complete uh, all the visits that we need uh, to complete. And prediction is related, again, to coverage, compensation of the eyes. So some, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very important issue for us. We need to be fair, we need to be productive, and we need to be efficient. And uh, generally, those three don't go in the, in the, in the same direction. Uh, and the variables uh, we are evaluating are below. The second point, with the, which is uh, uh, from my standpoint, the future is skills evaluation and somehow skills definition. I, I often say that we are working on skills that you won't find on the resume, but uh, 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 that are extremely valuable uh, for companies or even for people. Uh, the two most obvious ones are uh, yeah, uh, ATD, which is attention to details. So let me, I can give you an example. Sometimes uh, we ask the eyes to go in a store and to count the number of facings of one given product. Then you have a question which is perfect to uh, assess attention to details. So think uh, about the number of bottles that you can have, the, bottles of, uh, the number of Coca-Cola bottles that you can find in a store. You may have, I don't know, 200 of them, of them. So having someone on the field counting them and having someone 
uh, at headquarters verifying that data gives us a very good uh, assessment of attention to details. Attention to details is extremely useful in many uh, uh, area of the world of work, of work, but no one puts that in a resume while we are able to assess it. Same for trustworthiness. We ask our eyes to make a lot of promises just to, uh, to, to verify that they uh, uh, respect them. And that uh, allows us to evaluate trustworthiness somehow. So <coughs> I would say those are uh, 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 basic skills, but skills that we are able to, uh, to, uh, to assess, which, uh, which uh, I find quite uh, fascinating. And the last time, of course, is product, uh, the last uh, part uh, in terms of, uh, of data management, uh, I would say generally speaking, is about the productivity. So how could we automate? We are very, 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 very operational. Uh, so of course, automation uh, is, is, is key. Uh, and productivity can be also measured in new roles, which is more about how uh, we handle the crowd uh, more uh, productively at less, uh, at less cost. <coughs>